And uh, before we move on to our uh, new next uh, roundtable session, I would like to introduce one last speaker. You already heard her, brief heard her briefly in the segment Solution. Joining us from Kenya is Hanna Lindqvist. Can you all hear me? Hey, Hanna. You have Hi. a long experience Hi. in grassroots campaigning, building organizations and brand development. And you also, uh, you're also the communication and growth manager at Trine, an investment platform that enables private individuals to invest in off-grid solar energy. Triple impact, people, planet, profit is at the heart of everything that Trine does. Hannah, thanks for joining us. Thanks. It's a pleasure to join you all here. Yeah. Uh, let me share my screen. So uh, why are we here? I think for me, one of the key issues, if we're going to come to a world where we have a green future and a planet that is still around, is that we also need to think about what drives the sustainable future forward. Um, I think one key aspect in that is finance, and that's what I'm going to talk uh, about today, is how we can all be a part of uh, creating a sustainable future. Uh, so who is trying? Well, we're a startup with this very small vision of achieving a world where all people have access to clean energy and change the way that we invest our money. And why would we want to achieve that? Well, there's millions of people currently lacking access to basic electricity. And instead, they rely on fossil fuels such as kerosene, uh, diesel, and so on. And this is something that you might not think about if you live, for example, like me. Most of the time I live in, in, in Sweden uh, or any other part of the world where you take it for granted. But this affects uh, almost every aspect of people's lives uh, that do not have access to this basic service. We talk about health in terms of the toxic fumes that comes out of these uh, kerosene lamps that you see on the presentation. Uh, we talk about cost in terms of that the proportion of their income that they spend on energy or uh, issues related to energy is enormous. Um, and also educational aspects that uh, when the sun goes down, for example, here in Kenya, it's pitch dark outside, meaning that a lot of children do not have the possibility to actually study uh, after the, the sun has gone down. And of course, we talk about the climate. To look at this enormous opportunity if over this one billion people who lack access to electricity, if they could go skip the fossil fuel and go directly to solar, that's a massive leapfrogging we could do right there. So, so what is then the problem in this? Well, why don't more people have access to clean energy when we actually know that it's better? it's uh, more affordable, and it helps the, the climate. Well, some of you might have guessed, uh, money. It's all about the money. There's plenty of solar companies, many of them who I met here in Kenya, for example, that wants nothing more than to provide these households with clean, affordable energy. But the problem is that a lot of these households live uh, what you call off-grid, meaning very far away from the traditional services. And the way they would pay for the energy would be through micro installments, meaning that for the solar companies to be able to cater to this need, it requires a lot of upfront capital, it requires investment, and it requires time. Uh, and for them to be able to make more impact, they also need to scale their business. So, that's where Trine comes into the picture. What we do is that we connect private individuals like you behind the screens and me uh, with these solar energy companies to provide affordable finance to them so they can scale up their business and continue to provide uh, thousands of people with clean energy. Because it's actually quite simple when you look at it. Uh, the problem in the world is not 
necessarily lack of capital. We know there's plenty of capital being invested into the stock market, into savings account, into the pension funds, and so on. But a lot of this capital is not necessarily doing that that uh, good uh, or any good, to be honest, for us or the planet. And imagine if all of this money that was invested in the traditional ventures or in uh, sectors that is currently uh, emitting carbon, um, imagine if this was actually uh, invested into sustainable ventures. Uh, if, you, uh, if your and my money actually worked for a greener future. Uh, and that's the whole reason why I joined Trine and, and why the company was founded a couple of years ago. It was to enable all of us to be able to invest in an easy way into something that has a triple impact, that will provide and change the lives of millions of people, while at the same time reduce our carbon emissions and make sure that we actually have a planet to live on in the coming years. And also, a very important aspect of this is the, econo uh, the uh, economical uh, development where emerging markets will be able to build a local economy that can grow. And you as an investor also have a potential return on your investment. And I think that's for me why you need to think about the triple bottom line. You need to think about why uh, it's important that doing good and, and living sustainable also needs to be economical viable because that's the way that we can ensure that we have a long-term sustainability, not just in a project form or not just something that's going to uh, end in a couple of years, but actually for the long term. Uh, and that's yeah. when real change can happen. Thank yeah. you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. you, you are no, but maybe I, I run out of time here. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly show how the real uh, impact. This is the heroes on the ground. Yeah. So what do we see here, Hanna? So here we see how a typical solar home system for a household in, uh, this is uh, taken outside of uh, Kisumu in, in Western Kenya. Um, and this looks very simple. It is very simple, but it uh, continues to change lives uh, every day. Yeah. Okay. That's Thank great. you so That's much, Hanna Thank you. Lind. Kvist from Trine. We are proud to say that Trine is also our sponsor of the conference. This climate conference, carbon foot, uh, this climate conference carbon footprint from hosting, energy consumption, transports, and so on, will be calculated by Trine, and the offset will be done through investments in Trine's solar energy plants. Some scientists are indicating we should make plans to adapt to a four degree hotter world. Business as usual means about four degrees warmer, which is approximately one ice age in the opposite direction. Based on today's temperatures, we are going to hit two meters of sea level rise, no matter what. We are in a race against time. It takes a double whammy to understand. It takes repeated shocks. We need a global movement that demands real change. We don't have time to speculate. We don't have time is absolutely correct. As we know, we don't have time. There's no more time. Yes, we don't have time. We use the hashtag. We don't have time. We don't have much time. We don't have time to wait.